Welcome back everyone, my name is Eltamar and we are going to be continuing our Let's Play of Pillars of Eternity 2. Where we left off last time, we got spectacularly massacred by a couple of fights. We ran into some things above our level. We'll just put it that way, they are way above our pay grade, we can't win. Statistically, we just, it's impossible. Unless we get really good RNG, but here is our meeting with the Pirate Admiral. You're the Captain Oaldi's invited to parley, ain't you? I'm to keep an eye out. He taps a finger beneath his one eye that isn't covered by a black patch. It's so I can provide you an escort when you arrive. Lead on then. Right this way, Captain. It's my pleasure to show our honored guest around. Aye, it sure is. I have a feeling that this is going to be a tarp. Although maybe not, maybe we get recruited to the Prince Bee. The Prince Bee. You must be Captain. Glad you could make it, Lovesome. The battle-hardened captain rubs the underside of her chin as she regards you pleasantly. Her miscolored eyes, one raven wing black, the other an icy blue, rove up and down your face. Like what you see? A golden soilent, soilent? gleams against the scarred skin of her chest. When you notice it, she flips it to reveal the mark of her status on the other side. The mark on this side, it means I'm the second highest rank on the Council of Captains. I'm but one chair below that cockrot Ferrante. She grins. Now, I know I offered you a full parley, but I'm a pirate, which means I'm loyal to my crew. But otherwise, I lie whenever it benefits me. You killed my fourth chair and a damn good friend. A part of me might be impressed, but a part of me wants to flay the skin from your face. Understand? I do. If you've an explanation, I'd advise you to give it up real quick. Despite the violence swirling about her words, she purses her lips, eager for your answer. I'm gonna show her the swell net. Swell net. Swell net? I can't- I don't know what that word is. We had a dispute between pirates. So you settled it, as pirates do. Suppose I can't fault you for that. Still. Her lashes lower over her blue and black eyes, fanning like dark feathers atop her cheeks. You cut off my right hand. How do you plan to replace it? I'll take Benwin's seat on the council. Only so long as you're loyal to me, you will. But someone's got to fill his seat. Suppose you were to throw your weight behind mine. Aye, I think you're seeing the way of things. How we might come to a beneficial agreement. She winks her blue eye, flicking her S-word on the end of his chain. Now that we've got that out of the way, I'll admit. I really like you, Captain. You got guts. And not just smattered in your hair. I have horns. I'd like to make you a deal. Maybe? Forgive me for dragging you all this way, but I find the proposition of a partnership best works in person. Go on. Me and mine within the Principe would make for powerful allies on your side. But would you give us loyalty in return? That, I'd like to know. Of course, if we formed a partnership. Suppose we have to give each other a test. Make sure it's a good fit. You're dripping poison on your carpet. Did you know that? Say you wanted to entice an alliance of like-minded captains. You might start by aiding one of my best in Nekataka. She smuggles through the undercroft. Go on. Goes by the name of Mad Morena, she does. And let me tell you, Dove, she's earned the moniker. Mad Morena. The undercroft? It's a hidden port. But I'm sure you'll find it. Unaided by me. She winks at you. You have a bright future ahead of you, Watcher. See that you don't tarnish it by flying the wrong pirate's flag. Out with the stale and in with the new, eh? I know you've met with Ferrante. That you may even be working for him. That pribbling cock rot. She really doesn't like him. With a flick of her fingers, the captain swipes a goblet of God's Killer rum off her desk. She takes a long swig before pointing it at you. But that doesn't mean you can't partner with me instead. Don't do anything to let him catch on. Just keep me appraised of certain future events as they shape up. I? You want me to spy for you? How clever you are. She waggles her brows cheekily over her miscolored eyes. No need to commit to it now. You just think on it the next time you're toiling for a man who'd happily gut you. After you've done his bidding given half the chance. Oh dear. When the time's right, we'll set our strategy. Okay. 
Well, what can I do you, Lovesome? So, uh, what sort of things do you like to do in your leisure time? What? Like, for hobbies? Her eyebrows... <laughs> her eyebrows dance up to her hairline as she laughs loudly. When I'm not out plundering the seas, I'm right here ruling my fleet. Suppose I like a good bit of target practice. And of course, who doesn't like rum and a hot bath? Don't guess you like the saying? I could go for a hot bath right now, in fact. She throws her head back and laughs. <laughs> well, sure. You're welcome to use mine. But perhaps later, when there's less of a crowd around. Okay. Uh, about Fronte. Got something for me, Dove? She leans forward with interest, the corner of her lips curving wickedly. I'm all ears. It was Ferrante who told me where to find Benweth. I figured as much. That's how Ferrante gained his political standing. And that's how he keeps it. With underhanded tactics that whittle his opponents into ruin. Me? I prefer to face my foes head on. Give them the chance to join me before I fucking annihilate them. What, do, what if they don't... But if they do join you, do you still annihilate them? Because I'm standing right here and this is exactly what's going on. The captain's mis miscolored eyes alight with mischief. And I like to reward those who support me. I'm good to my allies, you see. For your troubles, Dove. For your troubles, oh. Dove. Let me share with you a little of my treasure. My bad, that was voice acted. As you wish, Dove. I gotta go. Alright. So I was supposed to go see someone with dogs, too. Apparently I forgot to do that when I was here. Four. Take a quick look around. Then we should head north. Westerly. Uh, are we... We're kind of welcome. No. Well, you know what? We'll open the door. Let's see what happens. Anyone mad that we opened this door because it's faster than the other way? No? Okay. So there's... Oh, there's quite a few people in here. I was going to say there's a lack of people in here, but there's quite a few. Still. Grim Darug's crew ain't been back in weeks. Something, something. I think we're just gonna head out, actually. We'll come back for the dog guy later. I think it's just a kill. I don't think he's actually even... a quest. I know we can get more characters in the main city. There's a couple more NPCs we can pick up. And we can also create our own characters if we really want to. But, um... I like to play with the story characters the first time through. There's a storm that way. Let's not go that way. Who's Dower Old Forwin? Oh, he's slavers. Let's go kill... Oh, he's coming at us. 120 life. Well, let's give it a shot. Why not? I'm not going to read out all of this stuff, because there's just too much of it. I mean, we have a very low chance to hit that. But actually, our people are not in the right position to fire anyways. Get back to your post. They have a lot of guns. So they have channel guns. 4 to 7 damage. Mine do more damage. They're not even in range, though, the enemy. Hold position. Hold position. Why won't you just... You know what? No, they're ready to shoot at us. We'll keep holding here. Uh, I guess I can go forward a little bit. They have more crew than we do as well. If we have sail, we're just in range. Oops, that's not what I meant to do. Fire. No, uh, we're more or less in range. And then we turn. we turn. We 
Fire the other guns. We're doing good so far. Oh, they're firing back. That hurt a little. And then we turn. And then we turn. We fire our other guns. We killed a crew. And then we turn. Then we turn once more. I'm surprised they're not shooting at us, but whatever. I'm okay with that. Did some damage to their sails. And there's their return volley. Six damage back. But it looks like one of our crew got hurt. God damn it, seriously? You are the worst at staying alive. You're not injured, right? No? Okay, good. Go there. Better guns. Oops, that's not what I meant to do at all. They're gonna fire. So are we. They came to a stop? That's weird. Uh, we went to the starboard again. I know not sinking ships is better long term, but we don't have enough crew to take their ship. We will actually lose and die. We took 17 damage, so that hurt, but we're doing okay. Let's try and finish this. No misses. Yes, we got it. The ship blew up. What did we get for it? We got... 2400 experience, 8 sailor experience, everyone gained a rank, and I lost the thing because I did all the things. I also got a gun, a fine pistol, and a triumph of dour old Forwin. We got a rapier, some swords. Uh, we are fine for morale, we're just gonna take it all. Now, going to our ship, we need to put people, you're a surgeon, you're healing him, everyone else is fine -ish. Sure. Okay. Now we get to head out again. We sunk a ship. How's our health? We're doing okay. We have a lot of repair things, so we're healing up slowly. Anyone know if you can get a bigger ship, by the way? I'd like to know if that's a thing. We're not going to go into the storm, we're just checking for islands. Although we're kind of approaching the storm, aren't we? Doesn't look that bad. It's just a little... A little tropical squall. What's that? Oh, dead fire merchant. Oh, we can see ships. I mean, that kind of makes sense. Uh, what are you? Okay, you're a merchant. We found some form of island with an abandoned village and some fruit. And that looks like it's it. Just an abandoned village and fruit. What is my character doing? The colonial outpost before you is silent as a crypt. Though its buildings appear to be in fine repair, you don't see a single living soul among them. In the town square, you find a sign posted beneath the remains of a charred body. It warns of disease. We're finding all sorts of garbage, and that's it. Nothing really exciting. Rice and some other stuff. Nothing great. We do have some gloves and stuff lay are laying around, though. So let's grab a lay on hands for a loth. He can help heal up. There's a saber, that's fine. 
and some fine leather too. We'll deal with that later. I'll do that between videos. Inventory management is boring to watch. I guess we're here, pretty much. There's dunnage. Uh, that guy's coming at us. Run! You can make it to shore! Oh, it's gonna be a close one! We made it. Why do you have stuff lying in your harbor? You should- somebody needs to go pick up those boxes. They might have things in them. That Did can't you catch be, the I new play by the peg leg performers yet? It's the green man. Well, Dita. That I did. Damn me for a butt slice of hard sack. It's, it's you, ain't it? The pale elf squints at you and puffs on her pipe. Accurate smoke from the bowl wreathes her face. Eltimar, captain of the Invincible Four, at your service. Angry by the thumbs. At your service, he says. I'm polite. I'll keep it quick, see. If your little dinghy has got some chase in it, I've got a list of captains with a black mark to their name whose ships need a quick scuttling. I'm sold. And I'm in the market for a scuttler. She sticks the pipe in the side of her mouth and grins, showing a mouth full of yellow teeth. You. You're offering me a bounty. Where do I start? You read me like a book, you do. Then let's talk business, eh? Let's. You'll be looking to scuttle Cornu first, one of Rawatai's finest, eh? I don't ask my client what he did or what scale his death balance is. Safer to keep questions in the hold. I'll take the bounty. Of course you will. Knows a good opportunity when you seize it. Cornu helms a voyager early muster in the waters north of Nekataka and south of Sayuka. Okay. Thanks. We got a bounty. A large Amoa sailor sits in the docks, broad shoulders hunched forward, back bowed. Oh, sorry. When he shifts, his blue-green skin ripples over his hulking muscles. Ain't no crew will hire me. What good's a pirate who can't see? Forget navigating by the stars or shooting a pistol. I can't even swing a sword accurately now. Have a pity and toss me a pyre, will you? It's your story. Is this what my life boils down to? A moment of entertainment for others? He sighs heavily, big shoulders hunched. I was a bosun not so long ago. And a damn good one at that. But I took a shot to the face, see? I do see. He waves one massive hand in front of his sightless eyes. Didn't lose much skin, but the flash burned out me eyesight. I can't make out so much as a blurry shape more than a foot away. Makes me right useless on a crew now, don't it? No one will have me for work. Farewell. Sorry, dude. Tough luck. If I could hire you, I would, because you're look strong, I guess, but... I'm not going to give you free money. A trim man in practical, well-crafted leathers watches you from the corner of his eyes. When he catches you looking his way, his hand drifts casually to the dagger at his hip and lingers for a moment. Then he smiles, the corners of his hazel eyes crinkling with genuine warmth, and waves you over. A cozy traveler. Care to hear a tale? He rubs thoughtfully at the stubble along his jaw. Well... Sure. I was born to a family of merchants on the Pearl Coast. I was a restless boy, and my feet took me to the Valen Republics when I came of age. As Carlo speaks, his previously strong Valian accent begins to fall away, and his voice takes on the characteristic twang of the deerwood. I learned of the power of geography and language at my father's knee, and those skills proved useful in the Republics. I had many successful years as a merchant, and then I made a mistake. Go on. He gives you a small smile and an easy shrug of his shoulders. I joined up with a company based in Girara that traded in beautiful weavings. But they were ill-gotten gains, forcibly produced by a weaver the company kidnapped named Boniseta. I didn't learn the truth until it was too late. And when our crime was uncovered, I was exiled from the Republic's. Well, that's a shame. Indeed. But I should have asked better questions of my employers. And now I'm here, kicking my heels in the dead fire, where no one knows my name and with few prospects before me. I would like to make amends to Boniseta personally, but it seems a distant possibility. Ah, well. I learned my lesson. I won't be played for a fool again. 
Can you teach me what you learned in the Valian Republics? Ark, you listened to my tale. I suppose I can do that for you for uh, 3,000 copper. Nope. As you say, you should want for me, I will be here. He gives you a friendly nod and turns away. 3,000 is a bit much for now. You find a woman of early middle years dressed fine if dirty. Dressed in fine if dirty door armor? I guess there's an in missing there. You find a woman of early middle years dressed in fine if dirty armor adorned with bright purple piping. Piping? A pair of long scars bisect her brow and jaw. Though she stands at ease, a nervous energy thrums through her. Fair day, traveler. She grins a broad, joyful twinkle, lighting her eyes. Anything I can do for you, just say the word. Tell me about yourself. Lady adventurer at your humble service. I was born in a deer and raised in the field, and there's nary a crevice of this archipelago I haven't seen. The field? Ah, the living lands most off, but the dead fire as well of late. And my goodness, if you think the dead fire's wild, I must say, it's no more thrilling than a lady of luxury's afternoon luncheon in comparison to the glorious madness of the living lands. I know, I grew up there. Being a cypher's come in quite handy, I'll tell you that. Do you get in trouble often? Oh, dear me, yes. Can't seem to avoid it. Not a lick of it's my fault, of course. It's the university. Always sending me to the most dangerous corners of Aeor, the scamps. That is scampy. If I didn't know better, I might say they were trying to kill me. There's not other way to rid themselves of a tenured professor, after all. She laughs. Got any good stories out of it? Oh, I, I. Some you wouldn't right believe. Like the time I lost part of my ear here, see? She pulls back her hair and shows you a mangled ear. It looks like something's had a good chew on it. Lost an entire research team along with the ear. Rather a long day, that was. My colleagues have implied I might be cursed, but I can't say I much agree. It's just the nature of the work, you understand. I mean, goodness, if you want a lady to find you the rarest plants, you gotta send her to the most remote places. On my last expedition, my colleague Ennis got herself lost looking for what was essentially a big prickly weed. No medicinal use at all. I found her, though. Mostly intact, even. A blessing from the living lands, I call it. I... But I do go on, don't I? You kind of do. Could you teach me what you learned exploring the living lands? With pleasure. Teaching is my specialty, after all. I'm gonna pack your brain with so much knowledge, you're gonna have a headache for a week. All I need from you is 3,000 copper. So that'll enhance uh, stealth and metaphysics, but we're That's not gonna learn that. I suppose. Come back if you change your mind. So there's people that'll teach us to improve our skills if we need them to, but they are expensive. It's like really expensive. Way too much for our relatively low pay grade. Let's go to the building, I guess. There's an eclectic pig. Well, we have gained Chauncey the pig. I feel better about the evil things we do. Oh, this is actually an island island. There's a radiant court, the king's coffin, the balefire beacon. It's actually a big city. It's got 1,500 people in it. It's relatively large. For a island city, I guess. Leave it to me. Burn what do you sell? Vegetables, dried goods for long voyages. I got it all right here. What can I stock you up? What do you got? Uh, you got some okay stuff, but we're not gonna probably buy any of that. You look like you're selling a wine. Looking for work. I've got coin and a few scores to sell. You carry yourself like a person well acquainted with violence. Care to put your skills to use for a good cause? And some coin? Yes. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. She dances a coin across her knuckles, mirth a bright glint in her eyes. Tell me about the cause you mentioned. It's simple enough. The firebrand commanded by Captain Henkwa once plagued the dead fire. The skill and brutality of Henkwa's crew was the stuff of legends. Desirel flicks the coin she's holding and snatches it from the air with a grin. Up close, it's clearly a... Sulane. Maybe it's a Sulane. Legendary nightmares, more like. After how they did the crew with a virtuous reward. Even that bastard Benwith wanted nothing to do with him. 
I see. But pirate legends don't live long. Some months ago, an alliance of Neketaka pirate hunters managed to corner the Firebrand and sink her off the coast of Tikawara. They confirmed Captain Henkwa's death, but her senior crew members escaped unscathed. And now it seems like bringing the Firebrand's crew to justice doesn't matter to anyone but me. Even in the low light, you can see a vein throbbing at her temple. Her voice drops to a low growl. So I want you to kill them. And I'll pay you out of my own pocket if you do. I'll hunt down these pirates. Who am I looking for? The Firebrand had a mascot. A useless little bastard. Who's taken to calling himself Lord Admiral Imp. He's not terribly dangerous on his own. But he's keen to make a nuisance of himself wherever he goes. She rubs the bridge of her nose and sighs. With a sigh, Seraphin rolls his large eyes. Last I heard, Lord Admiral Imp was making himself comfortable in Queen's birth. You'll find him there with a few Zarops and constructs, the little buggers convinced to follow him. Bless their simple hearts. Noted. Next. You'll be taking down Lady Ipiro, Captain Henkwa's former first mate and rumored lover. She's a cipher, and a dangerous one at that. Ipiro maintains an estate in Serpent's Crown in Neketaka. But I wouldn't recommend you rush in Marzo's blasting and swords held high. She keeps a number of bodyguards on her payroll. She winks. All smiles. You got it. I'll be careful. Who else am I after? Or should I say got You'll it? You'll be going after Katren, the Firebrand's resident wizard. Rumor has it she was once an apprentice to Arkemir before turning pirate. Last I heard, Katren and her sundry little minions could be found lazing about the sacred stair here in Neketaka at night. No idea where she disappears off to during the day. Right, moving on. I have a challenge for you, my friend. And his name is Torkar, leader of the Firebrand's boarding parties. He's an ogre with a reputation for cleverness and cruelty both. I've even heard tell it was Torkar who was behind the Firebrand's most successful tactics, not Henkwa. Torkar was last seen at Lifter's Refuge here in Dunwich. They're set on joining a crew, or assembling his own. I trust you won't let that happen. Sounds like you've got a grudge against the Firebrand's crew. It's nothing personal. The crew earned their reputation through murder and thievery. And it would make me sick to see them regain an ounce of their power. Yes, murder and theory, those are terrible traits. She tries for a nonchalant shrug, but it comes off looking like she's got a, so a sore shoulder instead. As she speaks, Deseral removes a small solenne from her pocket and polishes the surface with the corner of her shirt. Her features soften like she's visiting an old memory, then she stuffs the coin back in her pocket with a barely audible sigh. You're not telling me everything. You've a keen eye, my friend. I reserve a bit of the Firebrand story for myself, and you'll excuse me if I don't plan to share it. Let's keep business strictly business, huh? Okay. Happy hunting. Thank you. So we're in a Radiant Court. We're going to continue to look around. I want to find a weapon shop, and we're going to steal the stray dog. Ramasso. Welcome to my Emporium. Whatever you need, I sell. He gestures at all the stalls around him. Uh, what would you like to buy today? Let me take a look. What do you got? It's an eager blade. Is that a great sword? It's an estoc. We can use an estoc. It's a superb sword. It's ridiculously expensive. But look at that beautiful sword. Oh, man. I want it. There's no way we can afford it, is there? Because I want it so badly. Alright, let's see what we can do. Let's sell all of our junk weapons. Uh, I don't know if we need to find pistols or not. I want that sword right, right now. It needs to be on my character. I will spend every cent of money we have for it.
I suppose I should keep the crew Mars around until I figure out what I want them to do. We're making $2,000 off of all the stuff we're selling, which is nowhere even remotely close to what we need. You should, if you type a ridiculous number into there, it just sells all the ones you currently have. How much are these worth? I mean, these can be so useful, though. Probably never use that. And we don't really use scrolls all that often. We never use traps. We're not going to use drugs. I probably shouldn't sell my pets, eh? <laughs> I mean, I rescued them from a life of hardship. Selling them back to hardship seems like a terrible thing to do. We can sell those guns. I guess we're never going to use them. So we're at 13,000, which is just nowhere close to get the Eager Blade that we want, which is really sad because I really want it badly. It is a beautiful sword. Look at that thing. Penetration 12, awesome damage, quality superb. Oh man. You half mastered sot. She's gotta be 90 years old. Actually. You return a friend. What would you like I do now? <laughs> is that armor? Before we go off? What's pale hide? It's legendary armor. Wow. Plus four armor rating. It's got decent shock and freezing armor rating. And uh, transfers hits to grazes, 15% chance, not bad. Okay, we're gonna go to the treasure trove later. Let's go fight an ogre. Oh, we're over time anyways. Alright, we'll end here then. In the next video, we'll fight the ogre. Like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you all next time. Take care.